Hello everyone. Uh, I am Devin Prabhu, Assistant Professor, School of Commerce, KSA College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangode. Uh, welcome to my video. So now we are going to discuss for internal control. So internal control is a process effected by an entity board of directors, management and other personnel designed to provide reasonable assurance that the information is reliable, so accurate and timely uh, of compliance with the, uh, applicable laws, regulations, uh, context policies, procedures. Okay, fine. So in this internal control, the auditing is we are already discussed in previous video. This video we are discussed about for internal control. So internal control means in simple words, the company having their uh, internal assessment for their records and financial statement. So that is for uh, called internal control. Uh, then the definition is this, uh, internal control is a process affected by those ch charged with governance, management and uh, other personnel designed to provide a reasonable assurance about the achievement of the entity's objectives. Right. So internal controls help to the management to know about the uh, actual financial position of the company. So auditing is conducted by the auditor. But uh, in internal control in uh, employee, in uh, the same company employee, uh, within the company, the company employees or accountant uh, who is, is eligible to make the checking process, they have to verify the document. So that is called the internal control. Then objectives of internal control, the proper author, uh, authorizations, then second one, uh, action second to them, deserve deviations, then restricted assets, assets then prompt recording of the uh, transactions. So these are the important objectives of the internal control. The next one is internal check. So internal check is a system through which the accounting procedure of an organization or so laid of the accounts procedure or not under the absolute independent control of any person. So internal check also is one of the system followed by the every company to ascertain and evaluate the uh, financial positions, records, document, then etc. Then every uh, reliable document will be ascertained and evaluated by the within the company. So that is called the internal check. Then next one is what are the characters of uh, internal system? And then first one is division of work. So I'm giving a check. Uh, the use of equipment, autonomous system. So rotation of jobs, specifications, control, then authority level. So these are the important characters of your uh, internal system. Then first one is division of work. We, we want to check the internal system how to be uh, divided the work to the all employees. Next one is giving a check. So every once uh, monthly twice or three months once we have to give the properly checking for all documents will help to the end of the year for uh, filing the IT purpose. The next one is the uh, use of equipment then uh, rotation of jobs even any employees are um, uh, having the same places in same job have to given the chance to rotate the any other department then specialization then control the authority level so these are the important characters of your uh, uh, internal system the next one is what are the benefits of internal auditing because we know auditing so auditing is to very uh, maintain or verifying and thoroughly checking the records that is called the auditing when internal auditing is the uh, process will be done by the uh, internal employees whether the company uh, was working in uh, any other places the internal employee the internal management will uh, conduct the auditing that is called the internal auditing it will helps to strengthen the internal control and enhance the efficiency it is the most important when when the company was conducting the internal assessment the company getting the more efficient and enhancing their growth and business process the next one is uh, improve IT security and verify the accuracy and the integrity of the financial statement. The next one is the helps uh, minimize the risk, whether the any risk or any errors or detection will be happen in the company, whether we are continuously doing the internal auditing or internal assessment, the helps to reduce the frauds and errors and I easily identify the mistakes. The next one uh, help uh, minimize the risk and ensure the uh, compliance. So these are the important things of internal check and remaining we are discuss in next video. Thank you.